Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your November 2017 monthly reading. This may or may not resonate as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Gemini and I have pre-shuffled these decks for you so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. Oh, there we go. And if you want to know why I don't redo reverse, it's because I consider the reversed at the whole time. The whole time I'm doing the reading, I'm considering the reversed. Oh my goodness. So, Gemini, the basis of your reading is the Eight of Cups, okay? The Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind, uh, something, you know, um, that you were emotionally attached to, walking away from it. There's a lot of negative energy here in this reading for the month of New November, okay? So, it looks like there is, um, you know, you may be having negative thoughts about a situation, you may be um, ignoring something. You could be acting impulsively. Um, it looks like change is on the horizon. And if it's not you, somebody else could have been acting impulsively, okay? And that's affecting you and you just wanna get the hell away from them, okay? So that could be the case. It's either you or the other person. Somebody is acting impulsively. There could be some manipulation here. Somebody wants to be in complete control. I think there is some uh, change on the horizon. I think things might be a little chaotic this month. Now, if you're watching this in October, this is a reading for November. Time is fluid. It could be happening now. If it's not, it's in the future, okay? Like I said, this may or may not resonate. It's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sun sign of Gemini and the rising sign of Gemini. My readings are not for any other aspect, okay? I do see that as far as finances go, you're probably doing all right. I see security, abundance, stability, financially. I think that you guys are looking for a more grounded, practical situation. And I think that perhaps you have been being deceived, okay? Or you've been deceiving. Somebody has been deceiving. And that's why I said the negative energies at the beginning. There's some deceit here, okay? And there's some, like, vindictiveness, all right? I just have to tell you. And I think there's some... Maybe there's some regrets, okay, or there's some rejection. So, you know, there's a lot going on this month, and I think a lot of it is causing some serious hurt, all right? Um, I think many of you want to leave a situation, or you will be leaving a situation, or somebody is leaving you, okay? Because there is sadness here, and there is a need for forgiveness, um, if you do decide to leave a situation or somebody leaves you, it will probably happen abruptly, okay? And it might, and it's going to be harsh, okay? I see a harshness here where this change happens like very quickly, okay? And if you aren't attached to somebody physically, but you are mentally, you could, that could be changing very quickly. There's going to be a quick change after a period of pretending that, this wasn't going to happen. All of a sudden, it's going to like, boom, happen, okay? Uh, I do see that the week, but it is a blessing for you because I see that good luck is around the corner. So it's going to be, it's going to be a little while, but it is right around the corner. Um, 
I see there could be some addictions this month, okay? There could be some addictions. There could be, there's definitely some kind of manipulation. So addictions could be affecting you. And um, there's like power struggles, all right? There's definitely some power struggles. But we do have something new coming in. So there's deceit. This is deceit, the seven of swords. You're being deceived and it hurts. Okay. It hurts. I think that, you know, um, somebody isn't really thinking about the consequences of what they're doing and it's causing you a lot of hurt, but it's actually a blessing because it brings you something new. You're going to need time to recuperate and I think many of you are going to recuperate just fine and then this new gift is going to come in and the tide is going to turn in your favor. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. It's like there's a situation that you just can't ignore anymore and it's really going to, um, there's going to be some action this month and it's probably going to be very um, abrupt and hasty all right but it's practical all right so you know it's abrupt and hasty and probably a little um, harsh but it's practical all right and it really leads to security stability and abundance for you so I would just go with it and what you will do and you may need to take time to recuperate and you may feel like you just want to escape from the situation because I feel like many of you might want to you know escape right here with this devil because you know there's some some pain here some hurt and um you might feel like you want to escape all right let me grab the grab the next deck um lot of swords energy so that's thoughts a lot of uh thoughts a lot of mental anguish going on here a lot but the thing is it's this anguish is being caused for your desire for security and stability all right and it's just too much okay and I think you're gonna need to go within you know take some time to recuperate from this the basis of your reading is the eight of cups it's walking away leaving something behind and not looking back Okay, even if it hurts. False entrapment, false imprisonment, falsely stuck in a situation. Another eight with an eight. You're moving away from a situation. And this is another thought in your head. Seriously, many of you are leaving or somebody has left. Okay, because it can work either way. A situation that you just can't be in anymore. This is for the, the month of November 2017. You're looking for a more stable, secure commitment in love. And it's time to focus your energy in another direction. Okay? It's time to just focus on love. And that's what it is. You're letting go of the negativity and focusing on love. That's, where the, that's exactly what's going on. Uh-huh. And it's and it's a very good. This is fantastic that this is happening. You are you're letting go of the negativity, the things that have been holding you back and and the um pettiness. It looks like you were feeling or you were trapped in a situation that you just didn't need to be in anymore. But you can't ignore it anymore. And finally it ends. And once it does, this new excitement and your vibrancy just comes right back. Beautiful, beautiful, and that's what that's what leads to your wishes being fulfilled. So this month, and I see this healing, like I said, you're going to need time to recuperate for sure. This month is about leaving something behind that no longer serves you, that you have been stuck in. You've been stuck in it, and now you're focusing your energy in another direction. It's like I bet you've been really... Um, not moving forward, not making a change, not doing what you really want to do, even though you could, pretending it was going to work out, pretending it really wasn't that bad, you know, pretending that it wasn't what it was or hoping that it would get better, you know, but that's not the case. Now you're just like, you know what, I'm going to focus on love and I'm going to leave this behind. Even if it hurts, I'm leaving it behind. And once you do that, something new comes in. This is something new, a gift from above. 
It is a new growth, all right? A new partnership. that leads to a commitment in love and it's your wishes being fulfilled but you have to do something about it first you have to do something for yourself first and that's leave a situation that is no longer serving you before this comes in before all this comes in you have to leave this situation that's no longer serving you Your hopes and wishes will be fulfilled fulfilled if you make that move. Okay? The peace, your peace of mind will come back. And it's going to happen pretty quickly once you make this move. In November, you probably will be leaving something behind that you are emotionally attached to, which has been draining your energy. And you're just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm walking away. See you later. Bye. Even if it hurts. Knight of Swords. Oh, many of you are dealing with uh, Libra. Aquarius or another Gemini you could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo um, we're gonna keep going we do have Capricorn another time it's gonna be hard work it's not gonna be easy to walk away it's not but this is saying that you need to do it you need to get moving and the sooner you better the sooner you do it the better because the sooner you do it the faster this new love is gonna come that leads to a commitment under here the sooner you walk away. It leads, starts with forgiveness, and I know that's hard, but forgiveness, forgiveness. Once you can forgive, you can truly leave it behind, okay? This is an awakening. It's a wake-up call. It's a breakthrough. Finally, things will start to happen quick. It's a real, real, real breakthrough once you leave something behind. That's the basis of your reading. Okay, this high priestess comes up when it's about time that you be honest. Okay, be honest. It's like it's something inside of you that you have been pushing down the honest truth with inside of you. And you've been pushing it down, pushing it down, and you're no longer going to do that anymore. Okay, you're honoring yourself. You're doing the right thing. Okay, following your inner guide, following your intuition, which is telling you what you want that you need to walk away from whatever this is leads to the ultimate happiness beautiful contentment happiness and a rebirth for you could be a birth period could be but I think it's a rebirth for you where you are very very vibrant you are absolutely glowing and it raises your vibration with that high priestess right there. Once you release this negative energy or person or whoever it is that is draining you and forgive them for whatever, forgive yourself, forgive them, I think, for many of you, things happen fast, quickly in regards to love. And it brings a lot of happiness and spiritual growth. But it's going to take work. one more card so I think the month of November is about letting something go that no longer serves you that you are emotionally attached to maybe around the full moon in November once you release it things happen fast regarding love because that's when the universe knows that you've truly released it do it around the full moon Oh my gosh, release it. Did I just get done telling you this happens all the time? I just got done telling you to release it. And that's what we got for a card. I love it when that happens. Son of a gun. Wow. Release and surrender. As I was telling you, we sh this is the, an angel guidance card. 
okay, from Doreen Virtue, daily guidance, okay? Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Oh my gosh, that's totally for you. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. I'm going to read it again without so much enthusiasm. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands and arms and heart to our love in assistance. Release. I think it's somebody that no longer serves you. And once you do that, love, real love is going to come in. And that's what I have, Gemini. Thank you for your patience, and I will talk to you later.